Hi learners, this is Professor Uday Kala from the Department of Chemistry presenting here the two experiments of Integrated Physical Science Lab 2 from the Chem Informatics Lab of Dr. MGR Educational and Research Institute Chennai. This integrated lab syllabus is a beautifully designed course for the first year of BTEC program. The two experiments which I am going to discuss here is based on the computer aided structure elucidation which is a very essential tool for interdisciplinary research. Here we use the software ChemDraw for this purpose. So let us start the experiment. Let me show the lab manual first. And this is the aim of the experiment is to compute any three of the following structures and interpret it. We have to interpret it. So now let me take the structure 5, structure 12 and structure 18. So it is like ease, medium and little complicated level. Again, I'm repeating, in this video, we are going to draw or compute structure number 5, structure number 12 and structure number 18. And in this stage, you can even pass the video and just note down the structure manually or you can even note it down in your lab manual. So let me now go to the program and show you how these structures can be drawn. Before that, let me show this one structure. You can now see this the structure number 5. 12 and 18. See here structure number 5 is having you can see the bonds in structure number 5 1, 2, 3, 4 single bonds and one more branched bond, bond. again it is a single bond. So there are 5 single bonds and 1 double bond and now there is a thiol group one amino group and a carboxylic group. Now we are going to compute this using our technique. Yes. Here to start with you just select can you see the cursor moving? Into tools you just select the solid bond first and just bring it here and just drop it. And as we have already seen, this structure is having four continuous single bond. So let me move on and just see there is a blue spot behind the cursor. So you have to click only when you could see that blue spot, then the structure will be correct. Now again another, again from this another. And one more single bond in this place. So let me take that also. So after completing all the single bonds, let me go back to the tools and select the double bond. And this double bond again exactly you can see the place. See now it shows a blue red mark that means it is placed wrongly. So what we can do go back, take the tool eraser here, just come back and click it. Right? Again go back, select the tool double bond, come back, exactly you have to check the blue spot, now click it, yes. After getting the blue spot, we have to click it. Since I have clicked two double bond, it shows error, so let me erase one. Now, let me go for the text box, select the text box just place it here and here wherever we need the text box 
we can place it and just type the letter and then we will go on then we will move on just the type the letter again here it is nh2 again here it is sh so this is the way to draw the structure so now let me move on to the structure 12 say this structure 12 you can see here it is having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 continuous single bonds attached here there is another single bond here there is a double bond and end here you can see an amino group here an amino group here a carboxylic group so this is the structure which we are going to draw now here let me go for the same page we'll take the same single bond drop it here carefully see the blue spot continuously go for the single bond seven single bonds continuously we'll move on for the seven single bonds is yes, one two three four five six and seven single bonds now here is one more single bond over now go back pick the double bond and after coming here again see the blue spot clearly and place the double bond okay now go for text box click the text box bring it here click it for nh2 again bring it here click it for nh2 again here for oxygen atom here for oh totally it sums up to carboxylic group and two amino group yes the structure is over now let us move on to the third one now you could see the third structure can you see the third structure structure number 18 here we have an aromatic that is a benzene ring attached with that a cyclopentadiene ring with nh and one two three four single bonds attached to this one more single bond here continuous one two three four and then a single bond here a amino group here a carboxylic group and here a nh group now let me move on to the structure page back in the same page let us draw a little below here our structure so here see i'm going to tools again I'm just clicking the aromatic benzene ring. So after clicking the benzene ring, I'll just drop it here. So now let me go back for the tools and just click the cyclopentadiene ring and just bring it carefully here and drop it exactly when it shows the blue space here. Only when it shows the blue space, you have to click right now let me go back for the single bond and just click it here one and here two three four right now here there is one more single bond for nh2 now let me go back for this text box i click the text box bring it back here for NH2 amino group and let me go back for the double bond and let me click it here a double bond now again the text box bring it back here click it type O and here type OH 
now our structures got over and here there is one more nh to be typed we got the structure all our structures are ready as i said be very careful only clicking after you see the blue spot otherwise it will show an error as i already showed there is a red mark indicating the error okay now let us go back for the structure and before that let me select one structure for selecting again go back for the tools and you can come here just select it go back to structure and you can check the correctness of structure you can see the cursor here check structure there is an option called check structure click it yes no errors found okay go back to the structure and click convert structure to name you will get the name of the structure clear similarly you can go for this two structures also same way you can check the structure you can go for the convert structure to name option let me go back to view and show you the number of atoms that is you can go to show analysis window click it you can see here the number of carbon hydrogen nitrogen oxygen and sulfur here this displays the number of atoms present in your molecule so you can see three carbon seven hydrogens one nitrogen two oxygen and one sulfur so this is explicitly shown in this window now let me close this and again go to view and just click show chemical properties it will show all the chemical properties of your selected compound like boiling point melting point critical temperature everything you will get it here so this is what about this structure interpretation which you are doing it through the uh, software and one more thing which is asked is like you have to count the number of single and double bonds for that let me go back to the picture and here <clears throat> we can see see here in this i have just shown all the hidden hydrogen atoms because in that structure you couldn't count the exact number of single bonds which is present there now carbon valence is 4 so surrounding a carbon there should be four bonds like this so here i have shown explicitly the number of hydrogens which is hidden actually there and so you can count the single and double bonds from this structure yes is it clear now we'll move on to the next experiment which is actually you have to compute the nmr spectra from the chemdra structure so for this again i just go back for the selected structure same structure go to the structure tool and just select proton nmr shifts you will get the proton nmr shift of the selected compound like this and here you can find the node and shift which is actually the experimental part for you and here the result is interpreting node and shift you can just take down the node and shift and carry it over to your experiment is it clear and this software is used for n number of facilities are there and anyway this video scope is limited only with this so let me stop with this thank you thank you for your patient listening